Welcome to ISO 45001 2018 Part 3. The Occupation Health and Safety Management System Requirements for Clause 7. Support including the resources needed for the effective sustainability of the OHNS system. Clause 7.1 Resources. The organization shall determine and provide the resources needed for the establishment, implementation, maintenance and continual improvement of the occupational health and safety management system and include human, natural, infrastructure, technology and financial. Examples of infrastructure include the organization's buildings, plant, equipment, utilities, information technology and communication systems, and emergency containment systems. Clause 7.2 Competence the organization shall determine and retain the necessary competence of workers that affects or can affect its OHNS performance. The competence of workers should include the knowledge and skills needed to appropriately identify the hazards and deal with the OHNS risks associated with their work and workplace. Ensuring that they have the ability to identify hazards on the basis of appropriate education, training or experience to evaluate the effectiveness of the actions taken in their work environment to prevent and control measures resulting from the risk assessment process according to the applicable OHNS, legal and other requirements. And retain appropriate documented information as evidence of competence. Clause 7.3 Awareness Workers shall be made aware of the OHNS policy and objectives and the implications and potential consequences of not conforming to the health and safety requirements. Their contribution to the effectiveness of the OHNS management system, including the benefits of improved OHNS performance. Being aware of the hazards, risks and actions determined that are relevant to them. The implications and potential consequences of incidents The ability to remove themselves from work situations that they consider pose an imminent and serious danger to their life or health. Clause 7.4 Information and Communication The organization shall establish, implement and maintain the process needed for the internal and external communications relevant to the OHNS management system including determining on what, when and to whom it will communicate it. Internal information relevant to the OHNS management system shall be communicated to all the levels and functions within the organization, on their duties and responsibilities including changes to the OHNS management system. The organization shall externally communicate information relevant to the OHNS management system, as established by the organization's communication process and taking into account its emergency response services, information to contractors and visitors to the workplace and the legal and other requirements. The organization shall define the intent to be achieved by informing and communicating, and shall evaluate whether the objectives have been met. Clause 7.5 Documented Information Documented information is the information required to be controlled and maintained by an organization in the medium on which it is contained. Documented information can be in any format and media and from any source, and can refer to the management system, including related processes, documentation created in order for the organization to operate, and the evidence of results achieved. Example the records. Seven point five point one General The organization's OHNS management system shall include a description of the main elements of the OHNS management system, its processes and their interaction and reference to related documented information, and the documented information determined by the organization as being necessary for the effectiveness of the OHNS management system. In Clause 7.5.2, creating and updating the organization have to identify the process how the OHNS system documentation will be described. Identified and controlled, updates will be reviewed and approved before it is released. 
7.5.3 Control of documented information The OHS documented information must be available and suitable for use where and when it is needed, particularly aimed at preventing unintended use of obsolete documented information. All records must be archived and be retrievable when needed. Thank you for watching the introduction of ISO 45001 2018 Part 3. In Part 4 we will cover ISO 45001 Clause 8. You are welcome to subscribe to our channel. Your success is our priority.